one of the nice things about becoming an expert in really any domain is the ability to allow other people on your team to accomplish the thing they want to do, you know, faster, easier, simpler, whatever. And so by virtue of being a cross-platform solution, there's there's always going to be trade-offs. And I think the trade-offs that Kotlin make are probably some of the best in terms of, you know, what you get for what you give up. And so, you know, selfishly, again, I really want this to succeed. And so by, you know, taking the time to really level up your knowledge and understanding of how it works across each platform, on each platform, um, the libraries and tools that you need to use, you know, how the IDE stuff works, how deployment works, you know, there's certainly uh, almost no end to the uh, depths of the iceberg on, you know, becoming an expert. But by doing that, you can take away, if you're working on a team of, you know, more than one, you can take away the need to have understanding of the full depth for, for some of your teammates and allow them to just get the benefits of the cross-platform solution, the, the, the code reuse, the ability to take that thing that you wrote once and trivially share it with, you know, your iOS team, your web team, um, native desktop, or if you're shipping libraries that, you know, have the same code run on every single platform you support. And so, yeah, you really, you know, by becoming the expert, you become the person that can allow other people to just not have to be the experts and just focus more on, you know, the task that they're trying to accomplish.